Hello, my soccer universe to part three of my Austrian Bundesliga jersey review. Three more teams that we're looking into today. One relatively well known and again two a little bit more on the outside. I mean, if you know the history, the first team that we look into is one that you may know and then we'll talk about the other. But first that, how did I decide those three teams go into this video, namely Admira, Sturm and Tirol or slash Wattens, because it's not Swarovski Tirol, uh, the original one, or Wacka Innsbruck, this is a different team. Or Tirol in Innsbruck, is a, it's a Wattens. Uh, it's also the town where Swarovski is from. Talk about them in just a bit. However, uh, so how did I go? I said in my previous uh, two videos, I took the standings from the last season. I went 1, 2, 3, 4, 4, 3, 2, 1, blah, 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 and everyone with number three, as you see on the side is in this video and then I ordered them alphabetically in the way that I call this team. So we have Admira, Sturm and I call them now Tirol, I should call them Wattens. In either case, they're last in the alphabet. So we'll start with Admira. As I already said, it is kind of the, we say, graue mouse, grey mouse in the Austrian league. It's a team that not too many actually care about. They have a small fan base, but they have a whole lot of tra tra tradition because they're kind of the fusion of three teams, two teams that were actually quite popular in Vienna, Admira Wien and Wacker Wien, and they then formed Admira Wacker, and I think it was in the 60s or 70s that they moved into the southern uh, edge of Vienna, where they have built a really nice day stadium, and they're very well known for the youth academy uh, there. And when I grew up, that was the team, and it had some support, it actually was even uh, moderately successful. I mean, it was always playing like in the top five or, 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 or so. But then Mödling, which is the next town, uh, also became so successful. And then they, in the end, decided, okay, let's join forces. And ever since, they are kind of always teetering tuition, between, tuition, it's German, for, for between, between first and second league. And for some reason, they barely ever get relegated. Although they in a way shouldn't be there, but then they should be there because they have always been there. So it's kind of a weird conglomerate. Now, Admira Wacker, the original one that I know, always played in black, jer uh, black jerseys at home and white jerseys away. And when they got Mödling, they added some red. So very, very often they played in red or red and black. This season they went with uh, black jerseys in a common Nike template. I am not too fond of the template. Actually, the jersey, there are not too many sponsors uh, added. You see the league logo and then you have an N for Niederösterreich or Lower Austria, which is this. It's the only team from that region. Although it's right at the edge of Vienna. I mean, uh, I think within 10 minutes foot walk from there, you're already in Vienna, but it's technically Niederösterreich, so it's the team of Niederösterreich because St. Burton got relegated. So that, that is a story for a different video. As for this shirt, the away jersey basically takes the same template. I do like the red a little bit better. I'm not so sold on the lighter red than here, but again, I mean, not too many uh, things added. And so actually, I think the shirt, this I like better. So I'm gonna give this five stars and we're done with Admira. And let's go to the big boy in this group, Sturm Graz, who just switched from Lotto and I, the mystery package that I got from Andy, I sent Andy also a Sturm Graz shirt, the last Lotto shirt. They switched to Nike. And I have to say Nike has a really nice striped template uh, this time, time around, very classic stripes. However, Sturm Graz decided not to go with their traditional black and white, but black and charcoal, gray, charcoal, and take all the color out of the sponsors. Now, it makes for an interesting shirt, but I always wonder, is this a Sturm shirt? I mean, uh, Sturm Graz always called themselves the Blackies, although they, all, they always played in black and white and very frequently had more a white uh, jersey at home. I'm not sold on this one. Uh, the gray for me kills it. I think this could have been a really nice jer uh, black and white jersey uh, and one that people actually, probably the fans would look forward to. Uh, that the sponsor is decolored for a home jersey, a little bit weird, but hey, 
so be it. By the way, Ponte Gamma is of course the beer of the city of Graz and the official club name is SK Ponte Gamma Sturm Graz. Just as a little an an anecdote there. So for me, the gray kills it, but I still think the overall um, design and so on is not bad. So I'm gonna give this five stars as well. Um, the away jersey does something, it's a little bit more, but it you know, takes the gray theme, it's light gray, and suddenly all the sponsors are in color, which get a little bit much. I, this middle strap, yeah. But for some reason it's more by vibrant than home jersey sponsors be thanked. I mean the Ponte Gamma is definitely showing very nicely on this uh, shirt. Weirdly enough, I would go pro now I also give this five stars because it's not that great. I think Sturm Graz had a much better set, had much better, better, better sets in the previous seasons under Lotto, and I miss Lotto for that. And then we are in Tirol at, as I said, uh, WSG Swarovski Tirol. Um, I'm not sure if the Swarovski is still in there because I guess they kind of stopped because of Corona kind of stopped. What I was really surprised is that as you see the jersey here, there is not much added in sponsors, a little bit on the, sho on the shoulders, but it is like that. It is a Puma template with a few spawns plus one hundred, but I actually have to say this jersey doesn't look all that bad. The always the class feature and I have not I have not seen them playing green this season so so far. They always, always play with the away jersey which really look at but uh the touch of class that they add on these this jersey and if you would ever consider getting a uh Wattens jersey go to the fan shop and get the name set because it's sparkly. It's sparkling because of Swarovski. That to me is an outstanding feature uh, that you should not miss out on. It is worth the extra bucks. Because other than that, this is just a normal template shirt that you wouldn't mind uh, too much. However, I almost want to say this is one of the better shirts in there. I actually like that the sponsor fits nicely with the overall Kalkakal scheme. Um, it's all local sponsors as well. As I said, Wattens is the town where Swarovski is from. And so, for that reason, I'm actually gonna give this even for temp uh, uh, temperature six stars. And as I said, the away jersey uh, is the same thing in white, but here I have they have uh, green uh, numbers with sparkly, which I let you choose is silver, is green with silver no numbers better than. Uh, white with green sparkling numbers. I ca I personally cannot decide. There's something about the green as well that looks re really really nice. Uh, again, I have to say the white one maybe does not do as much for me as the green one for that reason. Five stars. And so, part three is in the books. I can tell you that for part four, I'm gonna change for the first time the shirt. But that was obvious. In any case, let me know which shirts you liked in here. How many teams did you know in here? I always want to wanna, wanna, wanna know because uh, the Austrian league, uh, many of the more traditional powers are now kind of in the lower leagues and so we get a lot of so-called village teams like Wattens uh, in here. In any case, give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video, subscribe to my channel if you want to see more and I will talk to you soon. Bye! I really hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you actually might enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel and hit the little bell icon so that you get updated whenever something happens in my soccer universe. And with that, have a wonderful day!